I moved to New York to play jazz and then I started getting into songwriting and confused about what kind of music I wanted to play. So I started a band with Jesse and Lee Alexander on bass and um, I was doing a few of Jesse's songs, Lee started writing songs, I started writing songs and we did some random cover songs. And so we made all these demos and um, Don't Know Why was a song that Jesse had written in the last year I guess. And I guess that we just decided to try that one. And it was the first song we recorded, and it was a completely live take, and it just kind of sounded good, so we moved on. Didn't think about it too much, but everybody just really liked it, so we ended up putting it on the first record as the first song. Out across the endless sea, I would die in ecstasy. wanted I didn't want to put the song on the album because I like he has so many great songs and he had so many more songs that I liked more but the take the version we got of don't know why was so good we had to all agree that it, it should be on the album <laughs> It was a demo. It was from some demos that the label gave me some money to make. But hey, you know, I mean, if it sounds good and everybody likes it, no point in trying to make it too perfect or anything. I think that's the problem. That's why a lot of popular music sounds over-perfected and not spontaneous. I mean, go back to the old days. Everybody could just play and sing their butts off. And these days, not everybody who is at the top of the charts is what you or I might want as a musician. So, I mean, I'm not trying to talk bad about anybody, but it's the truth with the way people record these days and everything's perfected and perfected and auto-tuned. So, so I, think, I think it's great when you can just go in and play and get a live take. That always sounds better, even if it's not perfect. It's, it cuts, it sounds more honest somehow. I don't know. 